what are some things that bodies of culture can do to help to heal to, yeah. to address the activation the triggering right. including even with comments that we're seeing yes right uh, so, on the board yeah so one of the first things i think that has to happen is um so there so when i'm doing my work with with uh, with bodies um particularly black bodies one of the first things that i talk about um in my workshops are these things that i call uh, 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 developing your toy box as mm -hmm. opposed to investing in your tool right. box, right? Um, you know, just the idea of tools and toolboxes and stuff like that suggests that there is a right tool to fix a particular problem. And I believe that's the wrong way to slide in to start to begin to do this work. You have right. to think about it as toys. Think about it as and, and work with the idea of how do you play um investigate interrogate work with things as opposed to looking for the answer and so i have a thing that i call the four cultural somatic toys and so the four cultural somatic toys are um, um self and communal touch self and communal movement self and communal orientation and um self and communal i said self and communal touch self and communal movement self and communal orientation self and communal grounding right and those have to be developed individually and communally what happened to my people to black folks did not happen to black folks individually right it happened communally also right. and, and so and so for me the first thing is learning how to just ground yourself as you ground yourself, um, notice the stuff that's that's going to start to happen and move and percolate, um, and um, and then start working with it. Get my grandmother's hands and start working with some of the practices. 